what can make something transpire like this? First and foremost, like what I want to do, I want to apologize to everybody that was out there and okay. to the the parents of not just our team, but mm-hmm. everybody, everybody that, was, that was affected like by it. That, yeah. that, that should have never happened. Mm-hmm. Like we should have been able to. Settled with the nice, safe, secure guy we weren't all that attracted to. We didn't really want that much. We didn't have any chemistry with. We had meh sex with because we had to. Because the guy we actually felt passion and chemistry for doesn't want us. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Here we go. Yay, yay. There we go. Make sure everything ready. We got yeah, everything. Yeah, we got yeah, everything. Yeah. Everything on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you turn my mic up a little bit? Just a little bit. He said just a just little bit. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. We hear the sound effects. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This your podcast. This your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we 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 um we toasted to my man Ray J. This episode is dedicated to Ray J. Dedicated to Ray J. Yeah, he getting a divorce for the fourteenth time. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Damn, my man. Look, I, I didn't even know he got married again. <laughs> the same woman. Yes, he did. It's same the same person. woman. But same just, person. Yeah, yes. he just get divorced every like four to six months. So, Goodness oh my you know. god, yeah. hot hey. man, it's no, hot bo- not hot boys. It's a hot guy summer. We gonna be out in these streets, yeah, Ray yeah. J. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. CJ and Ray J out in the streets. Yeah, I'm out there with my little Cut Trinidad. Up. My little, my little Trinidadian outfit on. Ooh. Yeah. Yo, Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, before we get started, it is, it is this. I found her through Super Ray. It's a, um, I would say she a model, an Instagram model. Um, she from Jamaica. Oh my God, this woman is so beautiful. Who? What's her name? Cecilia Cerrone. Something, something. Hold on, let me look it up real quick before I look up. This is a very beautiful woman right here. Please don't tell me it's this girl right here. No, her name is Chris Sharon. There we go, right there. Oh, right there. Click on there. I can't see it. Oh Lord. You want to see it? Would you Where, like to see it? Turn my, turn my camera on so I can see it and turn, turn. it around. You gotta right. look on the phone. You can't. I, hey, hold on. I'm gonna go. Very beautiful, very beautiful young woman. I can't see her face. It kind of like shaded out. I wanted you to turn it around in the camera so I could see. Well, I'm, I'm putting on the camera. Hey, hey. You know what I mean? You're trying to have me do some magical Listen. shit. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make... He's a, he's a one-man band right now. We, we don't got that in the budget right now. Yeah, yeah, moment. we don't have that in the budget yet. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man, welcome to this joint podcast, What's y'all. Up, good people. You know what I mean? Before we get the thing in start, of course, Lowe's the Dark Gable. Got CJ over here. I'm in the building. I got Lowe's. T over there. In the building. Yeah, let, let y'all let you put it on T right there. Let, put T on camera. Look at that. Oh, look at the chocolate goddess over there. No, 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 no. I told you before, I am honey dip. Oh, my God. I'm Carol sorry. How, how, how can I forget? Yes. The old honey dip. <laughs> What's wrong with chocolate? You got a now, <laughs> you hate us dark skin people? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I just had to check. I just said, I'm just, I'm just trying to differentiate okay. my skin tone. Say less. <sighs> oh, my God. Well, conceit goes a long way on this. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, what she was here, deceit. Go, it goes, conceit goes a short way. <laughs> oh man, listen, man. Welcome again. Welcome to this show on podcast. Man, we got a great show for y'all tonight. We want you to sit back, enjoy the show, have a laugh or two, watch some videos with us. Yep, yep, yep. One full hour, we got you. Got you. Sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. We ain't doing that on a Tuesday night. Make sure y'all here every Tuesday. Y'all That's ain't doing right. That. Hit that Honey. like button. Hit that. Who, who jumped in? Cut. Who jumped in? Oh, yeah. Miss, Miss Robinson. That Miss was, Robinson? That was Famous the one Robinson. you was talking to before. Oh, that's the one I was talking to before? <laughs> is, is, is that the one uh, I wanted with some dirty, oh, some dirty oh, wait, secrets? Wait, wait. She said she in Punta no! Cana. Oh, hey, Cutney. Listen, we got we got people viewing it from Punta Cana. That's yes. what I'm talking about. Oh, she's in Punta Cana? Oh, you know what? She's traveling somewhere. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that means she must got a little money. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. me and my girls. Hey, we, hey, we, hey, we hey, hey, big, hey, big head. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, we, your DM. Yeah. <laughs> hey, big head. Yeah, you know I mean, we, we get that. You got a sugar daddy. <laughs> hey, you want one? <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. Me and my girls, we struggled before. You know when we had the little kids, but 
We do the damn thing now. Okay. Uh, we do the talk, damn talk thing. Heavy. Yeah, we, we talk, talk heavy. Yeah, we do talk heavy. Talk heavy. We everything we do is heavy. Listen. She <laughs> said she said she had she had her uh, her trip planned before taxes came out. Yeah. Don't play. Ooh, we ball. Ooh, that's what I'm talking hey, about. I'm ready to have her get started, man. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Let's go. Where's my little clicker thing? My little clicker thingy thing. Yeah, have man. fun like, for me study. too. And and me too. And me too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, have fun. Make sure you bring us back some keychains. Yeah, I mean, no, I and you know be. why is it? Why nobody bring back? Nobody don't bring gifts anymore on eight. Because when, when ninjas they, they, they is stingy. Trip. That's what it is now. <laughs> they just stingy. <laughs> nobody cares I no do. more. I bring stuff back. You listen. You like an anomaly. What you bring back? I mean, it depends on what we see. Whatever. Who that? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Whatever. I don't know who that is. Anywho. Damn, you Anywho. Got, you got everybody in the chat right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this thing here started, man. We got yeah. people coming in. You know, listen, as you come in, make sure you hit that like button. Yes. Cutting nah. not too many shots, okay? You don't make me have to call you when I'm done and, and we have like a little, you know, session. A little power. Put, put it on a three-way. <laughs> 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 Whoa, what kind of three-way? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, look, so, shall we get started to the first video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. We got it. Oh, hey, Kelly. Ready. All right, let's go to the first video, man. Cam was talking crazy. Crazy. Ooh. So we had to put them hands on them. Put the paws. <laughs> the two men speak about the brawl with Cam Newton. You know what I mean? So if you didn't if you didn't see the brawl, I suggest you look it up, man. But they on some radio. They was on the radio talking spicy. That, that spicy <laughs> trash. You know what I'm saying? Now where's peanut at right there? <laughs> it's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. I just want to know like what transpired, like what can make someone anyone like so angry because i'm sitting here and i'm speaking to you guys and there's so much that you guys are doing for the community and you're pouring into these mm. uh young men and so it's just like what can make something transpire like this first and foremost like what i want to do i want to apologize to everybody that was out there and okay. to the the parents of not just our team but mm. everybody, yeah, everybody that was affected like, by like, that, yeah. that, that should have never happened mm -hmm. like we should have been able to sit down and talk like there's no mm -hmm. reason we should be yelling at each other while a game right. going on like it's that shit it ain't none of that necessary and so Cam has an organization mm -hmm. it's not just one team he has an organization so it's just been a lot of trash talk you know from you know what I'm saying hit more so his side just out of nowhere just talking crazy to us for no reason it's like it's not nothing new like I've been around bro for five years so mm -hmm. like this typical Cam Newton behavior but Steph you was right there yeah, so oh, they you talking. Was listening to thing, so yeah, you heard yeah. him and you walked up. So Steph see. walk up there. Oh, okay. What's the and as I'm walking up with Steph, Cam is in Steph's face. I made y'all responsible for everything y'all do, whatever. The, then he grabbed Steph. Okay. So me being my little brother and I'm walking up a flight of steps and I see a 6'6 six, six guy grabbing my brother. And that's the footage that everybody That's what everybody's seeing. Okay. Like, so that was the first altercation yeah, that everybody nothing, saw. Nothing else right ever had him. Nothing else ever had Nobody's seeing like how he was talking crazy the past two days. Like nobody's seen that. Like. That sound, yeah. yeah, it's two sides. That, it. Yeah, that 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 sound like cat. That sound like cat. And, and see, the reason why I say it sound like cat or BS. Cam Cam is a millionaire, an ex professional football player. He don't have to do that. Now he got a lot to lose. Yeah. It, now from what from what I I, I read and so called heard about, it was that these gentlemen their their team lost to Cam's team. And there was trash talking amongst the players and the coaches and the organization. But that's typical. That's typical. That's typical. As a grown man, you sh you should be you, as a grown man, you should be in control of your emotions. All right. And and if you're playing sports, man, sports is about trash talking. Hey, now, now from the video that I saw, dude looked like dude walked up to Cam while Cam was in the tent, and then that's when they got the scuffling and everything, and then everything. But I mean, if you if you follow sports, if you cam just as as a whole like he been a trash talker his, whole, like yeah, his yeah. whole career so and he's played at the highest level he's been the mvp in the nfl took a team to the super bowl so you know for a fact he is literally talking trash that's what he do so it's like if he was talking trash all day as long as he wasn't talking about like maybe your mama right. or he wasn't talking about your uh <laughs> 
like your family or something, or he wasn't saying nothing degrading to your woman or something like that, then you just got to take it as fair game as sports. It's competitive. Correct. So like at the end of the day, I don't know. I, I don't know both sides of the story. So and just we would never they know because we weren't there. It's just but it weird. sounds like something must have happened before that. It's just before weird. Every, everybody started seeing what was captured on the video. But it's just weird. Like if we if like <laughs> like, like Lo said, like we talking about sports. This is this this testosterone. We go and talk trash, win, lose, or draw. And so like it's just nowadays people be so in their feelings about like it's sports. So like if he trash talking, yeah, you can't you can't get on cam level because none of them dudes was in the NFL. Exactly. exactly. So it's like, all right, yeah, you can't really but talk trash back just to don't him. Don't take like, it personal. Yo, yeah, my team better than yours. Don't like, take it personal. Out of here, like it's just I don't know. Again, because I ain't heard it, I, you didn't know the whole story. You only getting clips of it. It's just like, bro, if, if that's what it was, y'all gotta get out y'all feel or go go um coach uh, ballet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if you can't take the, t- the trash talk, go. Uh, what's that new stuff? They pickleball. First of all, when my son yeah, yeah, go yeah, do pickleball. When I like, had my son in football and then my other my other son in basketball. The kids talk trash then, so not even the kids, the parents. Like, ain't nobody sitting there fighting over no game. It wasn't even the players that was fighting. But I'm just saying, just in general. Exactly. Who are supposed to be grown men. Right. Come on. You're supposed to be the representation. Come on, you got you to be better than that. Positive you be representation. And, then, and, and again, it was one-sided. As long as he ain't get disrespectful. He's disrespectful, 6'6", 270. I'm, I'm, listen, Cam, all right, I might not be able to beat you, but listen. I'm gonna try to steal you, but I'm gonna run. Yeah, you're too big. Yeah. You get me. I'm. <laughs> you put me in the bear hug. But other than that, if it wasn't disrespectful, talk trash back to him. Like right. Well, that corny ass outfit you be wearing, Cam. Like I would be coming at him too. Like you, you dressing like the the prince That's and a, the pauper. Man, Cam is a grown. Man. Ty, the video is 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 circulating on the internet. Yeah, yeah. It's, all, it's all up in there, man. You just Google Cam Newton fight. Yeah, and all you got to do is Cam Newton on Google. It's gonna be the newest thing up there. So, <laughs> and again, man, Cam Newton's a big boy. Big. I'm saying, NFL defensive players couldn't do nothing with Cam. Six six so two seventy. Them two guys gonna do anything with right. Cam. Five nine. They tripping. <laughs> Weed smokers. They like, tripping. Hmm. Man, listen, my boy was up there attacking. I be looking at him like shit. I ain't I ain't seen that. Hey, hey, Los. Back up! I like, oh wait a minute, let me let me help you out. Hey, somebody wanna help this boy out? Listen. Man, you crazy dog. Cam, you're gonna have to get one of these kneecaps. Because <laughs> I ain't got time. Yeah, hey, man. Nah, but like I said, man, that, that's all cap. That's all cap BS. They got their 15 minutes of fame and they just running with it, man. They got interviews on the radio. Come on, man. Stop that bullshit, man. 15 minutes of fame. You got and then plus you got to say that's probably what the hell they wanted. Of course. Yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, do you think about how that makes you look? How petty it makes you look? How immature it makes you look? Yep. They don't care. They want to put it like, in. They want to put uh they want to put um for bookings. <laughs> Once again, it's all about that that validation. For bookings. For bookings. <laughs> yeah, in the Instagram. For bookings, reach out to <laughs> I'm the guy that was fighting Cam Newton in the video. <laughs> for bookings. <laughs> reach out to my manager. <laughs> You know, it's out of control. Well, they were just sending our writers <laughs> yeah. and everything. Hey, come on, man, stop that yeah. bullshit. I mean, <laughs> when I come on your podcast, I'm going to need San Pellegrinos. I'm going to need um, some seedless grapes. Uh, hey. make, make sure you uh, you got that on the writer for me because I'm the guy that fought Cam Newton. Oh uh, man, stop! This your own podcast. Mm. Make sure you like, Don't comment, like. subscribe. Like. Yeah, man. Subscribe. Hit that, hit that second comment video. with me. I'm a, I'm a trash talk with y'all tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, my oh, internet thugging. Yeah, over, over darky over here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Remember, honey caramel honey, dip. Honey, honey car- dip. <laughs> so, it, salted don't caramel. Get it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is, it, is, is it honey dip? It's honey, honey dip. caramel it's dip. Honey, honey salted. Dip. Oh, my bad. Honey dip. Honey dip. Okay. It's not salted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I need to know. <laughs> no, you don't need to know. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. a spicy yeah. episode. You don't, you don't need she, to know nothing. She yeah. like. She like <laughs> Only when I'm sweating. <laughs> hey, and I don't even sweat that much. I don't like Whoa, the first fire. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, shall we slide to that next video? Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Video number two. We got a man who was upset with his wife after working a 12-hour shift and coming home to this. Hey, mm. Peanut. It's this Jump Podcast. You heard it. Let's go. See, I got her saying, I'm not salty. 
Bruh. Bruh. That's more than 12 hours. I'm sorry. Right. What is, what is all this? <clears throat> you ain't clean this up. Right. Ain't no way in the world. First of all, that was like that before he went to work. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Come on. Look at all this stuff everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> Yo. That's a whole lot. Yo. Women, she ate a whole lot of food. Five, ten minutes. Yeah. You need to get up now. You need to get up now. Why is the head going up against the wall? Was that, that was a blow-up bed. Oh, no shit. Sense, a blow-up no mattress. Sense, I'm tired of it. Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against the wall? Why is the head going up against Yes. Boy, you better, you better like leave that. her alone. But first of all, <laughs> first of all, I want to see what the rest of the hell of the house no, looked like because no, it probably looks like that. Was they rumbling in that drawer? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did First you of all, the bag of uh, frozen vegetables? Bro, did you see the frozen vegetables? Yeah. Why? T.Y., that, that house was already like that before he left. Mm -mm. They had Ain't a blow no up the world. up against the wall. <laughs> Two nope. pizza boxes. Wow, halls. This is the North Philly special right here. No, we ain't even going to do North Philly <laughs> like that. That was Kensington. That was a Kensington special. Yeah, come on now. Come Listen, on. Ain't no way in hell. 12 hours. She ate not two medium hours. Domino's pieces. Two <laughs> vegetables on the floor. Two Papa John's. She cooked some mixed vegetables. <laughs> and she had a bowl of cereal wait because, a because it was a cereal like, box up a under a the bed. And then like two plates on the bed? Yeah. <laughs> and two plates on the bed. One of the plates had a pillow. Listen. One of the plates had a pillow. Wait a minute. That's, that's that Go side figure. of the bed. The, the plate Listen. lives there. That's her boyfriend. That, that room been like that for a week. Yeah, <laughs> There's no way in the world he came home after 12 hours. Either she had a rumble or like no. she had a sleepover and they just all left and they left her to clean up. That that First of all, let me back up a little bit. Fellas, just want to let y'all know. That's how y'all favorite Instagram models be. Right. <laughs> okay. I just had this discussion with yeah. somebody. Them chicks that be coming outside, that be That's all, how they cribs be all done up. And then you go to their house, you can smell the house before you even walk through the door. Oh. Yeah. Hold on, wait, hold on, wait. No, wait. I on, can't wait. do that. Wait, hold on. So, have you ever dated a man who had his mattress on the bed? On the floor? On the floor? Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, mattress on the floor. Yes, I had, but that was when he first moved in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I was about to say, I did have my shit on the floor. Uh, it, shit, but, I mean, I did too when I first moved to I had my shit on my floor when I was in the 30s, man. <laughs> now, listen. Yeah, but I mean, I did, granted, I, if he just moved in the house, I'm not going to sit here and judge you. No, like, I, I had my job. My kids was jumping on my bed, broke the damn frame, and uh, I had to put it on the floor for like yeah, maybe a I, month I, and a bed. half till I got the new bed, but I just ain't been rocking out for like a year on the yeah, floor. Yeah, my, like, my bed no. broke a couple times. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> We is, okay. we is moy caliente in here tonight. <laughs> we ain't even hot in here. We <laughs> moy caliente. <laughs> we super oh, spicy. What? She like. We got, we got that oh, habanero. <laughs> we got that habanero <laughs> spice in here tonight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Yo, when the mom with a bed, what's it when the when the when the door come a knocking? Don't when it come a rocket? Don't when come a knocking? When the big door come a knocking? Come a rocket? Don't come a knocking? Damn! Yes. The neighbors know my name. Oh God! No. <laughs> Where are this we your going? Podcast, Where are we man. going tonight? <laughs> Listen, make sure you drop a comment, drop a like, tell us what you think. Yeah, that. Mm. Hold on. Are we are we ready for video number three? I mean, we are. Especially we <laughs> as you come in, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Yes, we appreciate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got uh, honey, hey, no, hey, honey hey, dip hey, chocolate. Hey, no, look, you gotta you gotta do the thing. Like, <laughs> ain't it, it, it ain't it ain't no no squids over she here. She ain't honey dip tonight. She hot honey, <laughs> hot honey. <laughs> That's hot honey tonight. <laughs> That's habanero sauce. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we got honey hot habanero <laughs> sauce over there. <laughs> On the chat, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm she got the KFC special. <laughs> oh, 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 damn! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, she, 
So you got the fry cooter cat ready? <laughs> wow. Yo, y'all tripping in here, and I don't know what y'all was drinking. I wasn't drinking nothing. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you smoked something. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look, that be Carlo that be drinking, not me. I'm yeah. cool. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm just, Man, just boy, hold on. Hold on. Just having a little fun. Just having you know a little fun. You know what I'm saying? Let me. <laughs> Hey, put that right there, boy. That's that right there. That's that chocolate mm. Hershey Yingling. Mm. Damn. You know what I mean? A chocolate I have yin yang. Water with lime. No. Yeah, she, she, yeah, she say that's water in there. It's water. It's nah. water in water my bottle. Water looks just like vodka. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Video number three. <laughs> <laughs> this racist Karen get triggered after ladies ask her to put her dog on a leash. But we got people that's not minding their mother. Mind your damn business. business. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> mind your damn business. Yeah. It's this John podcast. Oh. Let's go. There is actually a California leash law. California leash law. You should. Ew, why was that dog up in her? I'm, oh wow! I'll put yes. this on my dog. Dog sniffing all up in a cooter. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm just I'm seeing. Just, I'm just, I don't want your dog to get hurt. That this you, is the woman who called me a bitch when she moved You are into not our putting our your dog on leash. Oh, she moved into our neighborhood. <laughs> You're and not now putting she's on the, the most leash. hated woman on our block. And then you are breaking Everybody California. Hates you. No. Everybody hates you. You're breaking the California. Damn, she's like, everybody hates you. Does she not have anything else to do? I've been Karen. I'm just educating you. You're an Asian Karen. Damn, why don't you put the camera on her face? You look like one. Educating you? You look like one. I'm just educating you. Yes, it's free education. Thank you, you're welcome. You are going on whatever you put me on, lady. Yeah. Look, you don't even know what she's talking about. First of all, is she even recording? Is she even recording? Does she know what she's doing? Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what she said the last time she met me? She said, bitch, go back to your country. Bitch, go back to your country. Do I have to look Asian to be told? <laughs> I'm appalled. You're breaking the... She looks evil. Look at that smile. So That's an evil smile. Did you say something to Jennifer, too? This is Did something... You? Did you say happened? something to Jennifer behind you? Dad, Did you... you? You Did should you? put your Dad? dog on leash because you're breaking Did the you? California law. Dog is walking your around, song. pissing and shitting. You should move. We don't want you on, leash, on this block. On the leash. We don't want you on this block. Wow. First of you're all, if she's paying for her to live on that block, she can live wherever she wants. Mm-hmm. There's a police station so at the top I of the am, road. Go up and do what I you want to do. I will come. I will send this video. Oh my God, you're going to break my camera. You're so ugly. I'm not. What? I am. I'm asking you nicely she said you're going to break my camera you're so ugly nicely because you call me a p-i-t-c-h i'm done and until you apologize we won't start again you're breaking california for not putting your dog on leash do you understand english i am educating you you understand that you're breaking california law the leash law do you understand english okay first of all she don't even sound like she sound like she's from ireland do you listen London. Okay. Neither one of them. Right. What's your last name? Wong Hong Hai. Oh, okay. Oh, this is going wow. on. Wow. This is going on. She I am. I will find Her last name is Wong Kong Hai. Last time I met her. So she's a racist and she calls people bitch. First of all, the cock, the pot calling the kettle Cop. black. <laughs> like, Literally. that is what you call true entitlement. That is really, really racist. How the hell are you going to sit there and say my last name is Young Kung Hai? Like, what type of <laughs> shit is that? First of all, <laughs> it's Black History Month, okay? It's, the, it's our last episode in Black History Month. Yeah. These two people ain't got nothing else better to do. She talking about this is California. <laughs> Sit there and she, filming each other. She probably know more about dog law than she know about the law for black people. So, listen, uh, Asian woman and, and Caucasian woman, both of y'all take y'all dumb asses home. Your dog is in the back wandering around about to go out in the street get hit. You over here talking about uh, this is a woman that called me a bitch. Then why are you standing there? Y'all could have both walked past each other and went on your merry ass. Her stink ass coochie. (laughs) Oh, Lord. (laughs) Okay. That dog. Look, the dog like, there's a cat around here somewhere. (laughs) There's an alley cat around here somewhere. Somebody got some. uh, Some I smell alley cat. Somebody got some star kids tuna around here. Tuna. (laughs) Damn. I need that star kiss. Like, yeah. That's on. not albacore. No. 
That's, that's that tuna and water. That ain't that tuna and oil. <laughs> Listen, they both of them sat there and they argued with each other. Just, Man, Adam was like, listen, man, you look, you, you don't can, get out my damn way. You can film me all you want. You can film me all you want. Just don't put the got your phone in my goddamn face and keep it moving while I'm walking my dog. Because if I let this motherfucker go, yeah, my dog's gonna be a, is a monster. If I let him go, it, it, it's first a rat. of all, obviously that dog was not a monster. The way it was just oh, sitting nah. there. How was that dog protecting her if it was really a monster? Man, shit. That dog was wandering off in the street. They just they, they, again. Listen, that dog. That dog's ready to go. He said, "I smell cool to cats." So that's, right. that's how. That's how you know it's white and Asian privilege for y'all yeah, two to stand there privilege. for twenty minutes just filming each other. Like they oh, ain't no, got nothing else better to do. do. California law. Oh, this is woman call me a bitch. Oh, California law. Just, like <laughs> y'all two. Like if I was riding past him, I, I would have threw some eggs at him. <laughs> if it was me across the street, I'm like, look at y'all two thick <laughs> Both y'all going inside each other's apartment buildings. No, I'd be like, while y'all out there doing that, somebody breaking into your house. Right. Fire. Like, how you going to sit here and say, we don't want you right. on this block? Come on. Well, we but you know, it's sad to say, you know what? Because when my son's dad, when he lived in Northeast, he lived around Jewish people. Yeah. And they said that to us before. I, oh, I live around yeah. Jewish people right now. We was now. like the only black people in the neighborhood. They did not like us. I live around Jewish people right now. The, uh, I was in the market. Lady said to me, oh, you know what child bread is? Like, am I not supposed to know what challah bread is? I mean, <laughs> it's bread. It's a Jewish bread. But damn, am I, am I not allowed to know that? Oh, I've been like, shit, do you know what white bread is? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about I eat honey wheat bread? Yes, honey. Oh, you know, you, you, you see you see the theme here, you know, right? Honey. Saying, yeah. I'm going to name honey. this episode. Oh, my God. Yeah. Honey. It's the honey episode. Yeah, oh. Oh fucking the honey habanero sauce <laughs> sitting over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This your podcast, yeah. man. We give it to your raw diggity. Like, comment, you know subscribe. Saying? Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate yeah. that. We appreciate everybody in the chat. Keep the comments coming. Yeah, keep it coming, man. Con- the chat is blowing up tonight, yeah. y'all. Now I love it, y'all man. I love it. Internet thugging with y'all tonight. Mm-hmm. Y'all on fire. T over there. She got the uh, phone on fire. She getting she getting Miss Honey Dip. Signs, <laughs> you, got, <laughs> you got fans. Yeah, you know I man, she got fans. I told, maybe she, hey, maybe she got fans. Hopefully, she don't got only. Yes. Oh, stop it! No, oh, I don't. Hey, you, you remember what I said last time? She gonna have them men sitting outside. Mm-hmm. They, they gonna be waiting. They're gonna be outside the studio. Look, like you need to ride my home. Security. They ain't like that. <laughs> told yeah, you I'm gonna put right a wig on and a mask. They won't even know it's me. Yeah, yeah like, listen. Look, they say they gonna have them coupons in their hands. Talking about titty moles. Titty moles. No. I got a, I got a discount for Timmy Bowles. That's for CJ. No, 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 no. no. They ain't going to be here for me. No, no. <laughs> oh, man, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. No, man, where we at, man? Are we at uh, number uh, four? We at number four. Number four. You know what I mean? That, that number four hit the flower. You know what I'm saying? Where <laughs> peanut at? It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. I have girlfriends in marriages right now who have settled with the nice, safe, secure guy we weren't all that attracted to. We didn't really Mm. want that much. We didn't have any chemistry with. We had meh sex with because we had to. Because the guy we actually felt passion and chemistry for doesn't want us. Or makes us so emotionally unhinged and erratic that we can't look ourselves in the mirror anymore. Normally, those guys (laughs) that we settle for don't make it happen. That's how they beat, huh? To us, it's like, well, damn, if you're putting up with it, <laughs> okay, cool. That's you're saying. Here, cool. When you want to go, that's fine. But in the meantime, I got no one else. You're here to give it. Cool. I accept. But my God, I see how pathetic you are. And I will definitely use that to my advantage. We'd leave you in a heartbeat if someone better came along. Can I go first? Go ahead. Can go, I go ahead, first? bro. Go ahead, Rod. I, I know, I know he's been itching a roaster. Go ahead, bro. Let <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny that she says something like settle. Oh, well, we settle. Well, you actually settled because you <laughs> wanted to settle. Right. That mm-hmm. was all on mm-hmm. you. And so who's actually the pathetic one? She is. You're the pathetic right. one, ma'am, because you're choosing to be with somebody that you don't want to be with. And again, the men that don't want you don't want you for a reason. 
because you're trash. And so what happens don't is don't call her trash. She, Let's just say she's low vibrational. She's trash. Let's just say she's low vibrational. Tra- don't call her trash because at some point, who's to say she may elevate to a better person? Well, when she, so right now she's in a state of mind that is of negative and she needs to turn it to be to be a little bit more positive. You, so as long as she's in that po- negative state of mind, that is what she's going to attract. So you can dress it up however you want to. <laughs> it is, look, it is. She it trash. Is. <laughs> and once, you know, and once her perfume on a pig is still a pig. Once Oscar the Grouch get out the trash can, she could just be Oscar. But until then, she's Oscar the Grouch. So at the end of the day, get your mind right. And anybody who listens to a woman like that. Trust me, you're going to get the same vibes. Right. Because she is a retard. Like, at the end of the... I just I just don't like these people that go in here trying to give advice. And again, you have your own experience. Don't try to formulate this thing that uh, men are like this and this is what we do. Because again, a lot of women probably do... They do do that. And that's why they end up the cat lady. Yeah, well, this but- is the problem. This is the problem from a, from a female's perspective. The problem is, is a lot of women think that they have to settle just because for the simple fact that, yes, the the ratio of men to women is so low that they figure, OK, well, you know what? I got to just deal for this guy because, you know, the one that I really want. But also at the same time, if that's the type of vibe that you're going to give off and the guy can understand that and he feels that. So that's how he's going to treat you. You're not going to you're not going to attract anything higher. So therefore, if you're not happy within yourself, what makes you think you're going to be happy with someone else? If you're just having sex with somebody just because he's the only one that's available, like, come on, what makes you think that he's not going to eventually leave you? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, uh, so those women who who think they are of high caliber, I mean, she's a a, a, a pretty woman, but she got the looks she, don't she got have nothing up, to do with but, it. But she has it's a her, messed up disposition. It's, it's, her, it's her mentality, yeah, correct? Yeah. So they always want to be a cat lady because they so they as they get older. They're reaching. They can't get the type of men that they want to pull. So they like, it's, you know a, what? It's a, it's a, I'm gonna settle for this type man. Desperation because it's like, it okay, well, you know what? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, grow old and be alone. So you know what? It's, Let me just deal with this guy just because he's the one that's available. But also at the same time, what people don't realize is you settle in for this guy. You never really know who you're missing out by you making yourself available to the wrong person. Just stay they, single until that time happens. They ain't, they ain't gonna find nobody. But it, it's, it's really because what really needs to be where women not all women so i don't think that it's all of y'all but a lot of women need to at the end of the day guess what the fives have to go with the fives so like as men we know i'll know if i'm a seven i'm looking for the sevens or the eights or the sixes women will be a two and think that they deserve the 10 <laughs> be with the twos so her she might be cute okay but she might really be a six Go look for the guys that are sixes. Women women just automatically think, and again, this is not all women, but women will think, oh, because I told myself I'm a 10, I belong with the 10s. That's not true. You don't, you don't rank yourself. You are ranked by what the field thinks, not by what you think. That's how it goes. So a woman like her will think because she's cute, oh, I'm with the 10s, and guys will be like, nah, she really a four. And she, this whole time, she trying to. That's why she say, because the guys that you that we really want, they we we can't, we don't have them, or we can't get them. We, we yeah, can't, we can't get because them. you're a four. Yeah, but also at the same time, like, what is your standards? Like, sometimes you people need to understand. Okay, this is what I like, or sometimes they just go for whatever. Like, you have to be able to understand yourself first before you can understand what type of person person that you you can be in a relationship. That's with. fine. Well, but she you, thinks her standards are, but you much have higher. to than what they actually are because which she that's why she doesn't understand. a lot of them think that she because they don't understand the because market she, they don't understand the marketplace not only she don't understand the marketplace she don't understand herself yeah but she i understand that she don't understand herself but she has to know what the market wants first because she might think whatever she wants to think if the market don't want that then guess what if the market thinks that you're a four you have to understand i, it. I know you, you can't talk on this marketplace thing tj I just, I just don't like the fact that you when you say marketplace you make it seem <laughs> Like we're an item that can be bought. Well, like I can't be bought. No, 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 no. That's 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 the wrong mindset. So think hey, about how it. much for the honey brown. So, <laughs> so think of it like think, I am priceless. How much for the honey think, I am so priceless. think about it like this. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, dating is like like a job interview. You're trying to fill a position. Right. 
So you have to put out the best resume. Well, if I have a bunch of resumes and, and if me and Los are looking at the resumes and we think this person might give us their resume and think it is top tier and me and him look at the resume like, yeah, she's the customer service rep. But it's not, not always the just the resume is also about the representation. What are but you the resume showing? is the you, representation. Yeah, but That's no, what I'm but saying. What are you showing in person? But even person. still, even before, but, but even before that, right. at the end of the day, you mm -hmm. have to show us who you are first. And it's not by what you believe is what we believe and un unfortunately there's there's less men mm -hmm. so we have more option that's what women don't understand they think they could just show up the way they want and it's just like cool i'm gonna do no we got the we have the power so guess what we can choose 10 of no, you we have the power no. what do you mean y'all have the power no. we have the power not in dating y'all do not have the power <laughs> we have the power no you don't women's have empowerment have time they be <laughs> have time they be they, they be holding out on the on the, on the gucci power oh damn <laughs> first of all Let's just turn back up <laughs> yeah, yeah turn back up there we go <laughs> <laughs> see, see, and, and look, and I just turned down. I was, I was chilling. I was God chilling. Nah, nah. <laughs> we don't turn it down in this joint. We turn that mall like all the way up, boy. <laughs> listen, don't listen to her. She will have all y'all single. Real, real, real right. Do not listen to people like her. Nah, but first of but all, don't say that. She I'm will playing. have y'all single. Joke. Not nah, you. But, I'm talking about her. But, but the video. You can tell. She probably was a fucking B when she uh, that's, was younger. Wait a minute, what you, you mean tell. was? Who's to say that she probably still is And you know why? But you know it's worse because now she's settling. Now she realized, oh, damn, but I'm you, about to be by myself. But so you, you know what? Let me take what I can get. But you, you, know why she, you know why she probably was a B? Because that same guy that she was settling with, he piped her head up to think that she was a 10. And yeah. she was really a four. So she got all these these simps telling her, oh, my God, <laughs> she's the best. And the real guys is like, nah, she all right. And now she's seeing <laughs> right. that now that the simps is gone, the guys yep. that she's trying to get, they like, yeah, you was never that girl from the beginning. <laughs> you was cool, but yeah, nah, well, we, we ain't really into you. Now she's realizing, oh, damn, reality just set in because the yeah. marketplace is telling me. Yeah. Well, you know, you, know, you know what they say marketplace. behind every beautiful woman. Is a man who's so tired of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just anybody, not just a woman. That's behind a woman. That's behind a man. It's oh like, man! So we move on to video <laughs> number five. See, you don't want to hear the truth. See, you don't want to hear the truth. What makes you think it's not a tired ass woman behind uh, your man? Y'all got y'all got to stop moving the goalposts. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't stop moving the goalposts. Damn! <laughs> if we talking about y'all, we on y'all. <laughs> Every time we talk about y'all, see, because men, no, 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 <laughs> we talking about women right now. Y'all got to sit back and, 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 and take it. Because hey. you know how many years we heard, niggas ain't shit. Blah, 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 blah. Dead beat this. Uh, Y'all don't do nothing. Now it's our turn. Now we finally saying, oh, listen, guess what? <laughs> Maxwell had the song. What was the song? A Woman's Worth? He gave y'all that. Oh, that's right. My, that, that's why, my yes. That was 30 years ago, though. Now it's our turn. That's my, I was looking at. Shout out to us. I was looking at this this uh, podcast. It was a guy who was arguing with a girl because it. The, the the guy was calling women hyenas. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yo, what? and that's actually in the Urban Dictionary. Yes, hyena. hyenas. Yeah, I know what a hyena is. You know what a hyena is? Really? You know what a hyena is? It's an animal. No, I'm, I'm talking about a woman. Look it up. Since, since you got the phone with you, look look up in the Urban Dictionary, hyena, what, what a hyena is. And oh, the woman, she was getting mad. She was like, well, I'm not going to say that. And I'm like, let me look this shit up. And I'm like, oh, shit, that, that is an actual word in the dictionary, hyena. <laughs> Wait, they calling women a please hyenas. Yeah, Fe fellas, listen. <laughs> yeah, and she was getting mad. No, normally, I um, and, and, you know. and, and it was crazy because he was like, "Well, y'all women refer to men as dogs, so we can't refer to y'all as hyenas." Listen, fellas, okay. If you got <laughs> if you got a black woman anywhere in your vicinity, call her as hyenas. Do not <laughs> call Damn her that. a hyena. Call her as hyena. So it's, it's, it's it's quite a few different definitions here. But what what does it say? So to hog something entirely without saving for others. Then it's another one that says a sexually aggressive teenage girl who preys on older men. Damn. There's another one that says an opportunity cowardly social scavenger who seeks gratification in the destruction of others, friendships, relationships. A weak, malignant character. I see one that says a woman who thinks she's better than a man. 
hyena. That's it. Can be pleasant, that's what but he was generally doing. has a disagreeable disposition. That's negative and confrontation. Yeah. Damn, I know a lot of hyenas. hyenas. <laughs> oh, then it says there's another one. It says a group of women usually found in the workplace. They are loud, obnoxious, rude, and can make life difficult for their coworkers, that especially just, other women, that just work. men, and not safe. Talk trash, spread rumors, and not organized. Yeah, that tripped me. I said, oh, shit, I did not know that. You know, I'm all day with it now. So now yeah. we can replace a uh, bitch with hyena. Uh, yeah. If you don't get your hyena dumb ass. hyena ass out First of here. First of all, how about we just be <laughs> respectful towards each other oh, and just Lord. not call each other names at all? How about what? that? How about we start there? Y'all start with y'all. Y'all start with y'all first. When you, how, when, how about we start there? Y'all start with y'all. When y'all stop doing it, then we won't call. But hold up. How about y'all supposed to be the kings? Y'all supposed to lead us. Oh, so start leading. Oh, now we supposed lead. to lead. lead. Now we the leaders. Y'all be the leaders and we follow. Uh, so be. Be, be our representative. All the you know women who are independent, <laughs> throw your hands up. I thought, how we the leaders? All the you know, you know, making you, money. You know, you know, you know what I say, man? I, I should always be like, yeah, you know what? They don't give out backseat driver's license because, you know what I mean? Because you ever ride with a woman, they want to go there with you. Then you should have drove. Do you want to drive? <laughs> yep. <laughs> nah, I don't see what I'm saying. You know, and see, that's why I drive. Damned if you do, damned yeah, if you, you don't. Know, I, my grandfather used to say, I'm going to fuck this cat and you can play with the kittens. Oh. And, oh, whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah. He said, I'm a fuck. Oh, we shouldn't be cursing because we are so close to being monetized. He should always say, I'm going to screw this cat and you can play with the kittens. You take care of the babies. Which means mind your business <laughs> while I do this <laughs> and you sit back. <laughs> okay. Never heard of that one Shout before. Shout out to Pop-Pop. That yeah. That's Yeah, you know them old schools. They always had some kind yeah, of... They, what he's that saying is like, <laughs> it's colder than a witch's tit. Oh, I've heard of that one before. I heard an old head say, "Man, y'all, y'all little, y'all little Negroes don't know. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Y'all don't know nothing. I didn't see butter drop. Damn, I don't know what that means. Well, I ain't gonna lie, that's how cold. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's how cold is ice. I seen butter drop. Okay, yeah, I mean, hey, hey, chocolate. No, honey, no, okay. honey, honey, dip. Oh my god, I done seen butter drop. I seen butter, young drop. snapper." Now I said this is your podcast. Let's go. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like, comment, yeah, subscribe. We on video that, number five. Video already? number five, man. Damn. Yeah, Thank that. you for joining us today, y'all. Make yeah, sure y'all yeah, like yeah. and y'all definitely commenting with me. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Yes. yes, sir. So video subscribe. number five. Number five. We got a woman that buys a one way ticket to Japan, only to realize that it's mad expensive as hell. Mm. But she ends up homeless in Thailand. Dumbass. <laughs> Damn, you had, you had to sneak that <laughs> one in there. I had to. <laughs> Let's see the video it's first. She could have had some kind of purpose. Aww. Let's go. This is how I ended up homeless in Thailand. I booked a one-way flight from Louisiana to Japan. Not having any plans to know anything about Japan. Out. I just left. <laughs> After being in Japan for a day, I realized Japan was extremely expensive and I wasn't going to last it long with the amount of money that I came with. So I decided to book a one-way flight from Japan to Thailand. Heading straight to Thailand with no plans and not knowing anything no about plans, the country. No plans, no money. After staying in Thailand for five months, I still was not able to obtain income. I still wasn't able to figure out how to make income. I ran out of money. And that is how I ended up homeless in Thailand. First of all, how many times you want to say I ain't had no plan? Yes, okay. I... That just shows how, how much how irresponsible <laughs> she is. No, but my no, thing no. is, there's nothing wrong with finding yourself going to another you know environment to figure yourself out. But to do that is very very irresponsible. Hold on. Hold and number on. two, for you to for you to get to the point where you are homeless. When do you make that phone call and say, hey, mom, dad, can no, y'all no, no. get me? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As I said last week, <laughs> you can find yourself while you masturbating. Lord knows I done found myself lost a lot of time. Mm. <laughs> Hey. I'll keep my oh, comment. Hey. I'll keep. I'll keep my comment quiet I'm about views. that. I gotta one. go in the bathroom. <laughs> Let me get myself together. <laughs> my whole thing is, when you got down to the, I don't even know what Thailand's money is, rupees. I don't know. When you got yeah. down to that last hundred, you should have been looking up flights. Okay, First let me see how much a flight. You should have your money. You, you should have you your escape look money for to a the job side. and do some kind of research first. Like, how do you just not do that? 
That is just so simple, because my Because people dear. see the stuff that's going on on social media and think that, that they think that they can do it. Like when those yeah. people are those uh, travel, uh, like or travel or lifestyle bloggers and all, yeah. people think that they can just quit their job and start traveling around the world and blogging it. Like you're going to make money off and of it. And then they make it make it seem so easy, it's so like, simple. Girl, oh yeah, you can get this money you, off this credit card. You, you, you got to pay that money back next month, honey. You took your country <laughs> ass, okay? No disrespect. I love Louisiana. Probably will buy a, a like a summer home down there. You took your country ass to Thailand. No, it was Hong Kong first. Hong Kong, Thailand. And you then she ended up in you Thailand. You went to Asia, a country you don't all, know did she, nothing did she about. Even, did she even research like how to speak their language? Like it's a she that's said a whole, nah, she that's a whole culture She was just change. trying to get a job. She said, you know, I'm I'm trying to get a job. That's a whole culture change. Like that's that's just like very very. I, I don't. People, I don't see how you. Come do, on. I, we, gotta, we gotta do better. We got to do better. I'm telling you, that's I'm, just dumb. I, I'm. I'm gonna tell you what. That's that's giving, mm. giving, <laughs> giving. <laughs> <He said> slow. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. That's what it, that, that's what I'm hey, no, you if you're gonna do some shit like that, make sure you got that backup money set to the side. Look. That way you can get your get your your behind back home. Right. You know what I mean? That last purchase shouldn't have been food. It shouldn't first have been of all, it should have been plain. If I ticket, was to I'm make out. that move, what I would have done first. Let me just go there. Let me just see how the environment is first. Let me go and visit for a week or two. Yeah. yeah. And let me just, you know, just do some research, see how the co the environment and the culture is, and then make that plan to go. I'm not going to just up and just leave and just move to Thailand. And I live in Louisiana. No, but remember, it was Hong Kong first. Yeah, but still. And then you she don't ended up, up in Thailand because Hong Kong was so so much more expensive. Yes, yeah, it's very expensive. Yeah, I mean, so now Thailand, I mean. It, Right. Well, we already know Thailand is probably cheaper than all. Way cheaper. First of all, this is the that's the other thing. You're right, Kelly, because the other thing is is now you know now these days people just be making videos just to make for people to have some kind of sympathy for them. Ooh, there you go. Content. Right. Content. Let's see. We need to go and see if she got a uh, what's that GoFundMe. <laughs> Oh my yeah, gosh! She probably, she probably do. Those. I stopped. I stopped uh, supporting those a long time ago. Hey, hey you know what? I, I got an idea. How about we shoot the hundredth episode? In Chinatown, and at and say that we we, we in China. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. let me see. Oh, oh, see, you're going to get us canceled. All, listen, all the things are like all the things are two black people. Like, look at these assholes. <laughs> <laughs> they walk by we film. <laughs> look at these two clowns falling. <laughs> Talking about they in some goddamn China. Yeah, this your podcast with China, y'all. And you hear a car playing Meek Mills coming by. <laughs> like, damn, they playing Meek Mills in China. <laughs> hey, there you are. You just see like uh, Mayor Nutter walking yeah, by. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, no. the mayor there. We get, actually we get Mayor Sherelle so Parker now. We have a new no, mayor. No, I'm talking now. about see our old uh, mayor oh. Nutter just walking by. Like, like, wait a minute. Is that the old mayor? Exactly, of Philadelphia? Listen, I'm trying to tell you, look, we put a table up. Right in front of one of them little Chinese restaurants, man. First of all, it stinks over there. I'm not sitting at no whoa. table in China. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We cannot be talking about them people like that. I'm just saying, it, I'm not talking about the we, people. We, we, love, we love the Chinese <laughs> community. <laughs> the, th the thoughts and the views, the thoughts, the actions, the uh, thoughts and views of, uh, of our co this joint podcast <laughs> are not affiliated with Hot Honey Dip. Hot over honey there. dip. Three thousand. Yes, we we do. We, gotta, we love. Yeah, you gotta we love turn all, your back. You gotta turn your back on her. We love all our Chinese uh, brothers and sisters that support the podcast. We don't know what she talking about. She must have went to another Chinatown. Yeah, we don't know the one she talking I, about. I think she on the phone, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what she's talking about. She, uh, she definitely had vodka in there. That ain't water. That ain't water. Yeah, you know I mean, boy, water water is, boy we got a night. Well, we got this camera that went out, but you know what? Though we got two more cameras up and popping. Mm -hmm. I, I think I got that camera set to four K. That's probably why that thing um, overheated. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah it could have been. Could have been. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I was playing around with it. That you know, because that's a new guy. Oh, that's a new court. Like, yeah. 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 Any. Anyway. Anywho. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's Shar's thing. Anywho, any, you didn't say it right. You didn't Shout say out it to right. My Char. Anywho, uh, real estate that's guru. How she said. Yeah, that's how she said it. She gonna help me get them properties. <laughs> yeah, she gonna, she gonna find them. I'm gonna buy them. We all gonna be rich. Yeah, me too. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna be that guy that's be borrowing money all the time. <laughs> 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 I'm a five dollar to death you. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, can we get five? <laughs> <laughs> Look up at the end of the year, be like, dang, I'm gonna get more. 40,000 games or 40,000 <laughs> in five. In five. <laughs> Oh man, listen, should we hit that video number six? Yes, let's go. Uh, this this is the coup de gras right the here. Coup de gras. Uh oh. Yeah, let's I mean, see. listen, we got this woman that tells men that if you're making fifty thousand a year, uh -oh. don't date. Damn, what living that peanut kick. I ain't starting until peanut kick it all. I'm all sorry. Right, yeah, we gotta do peanut do the thing. Oh now I gotta I gotta set it all back up and everything because Honey dip chocolate KFC over there mess me up. <laughs> Wait a minute, how the hell KFC? It, no, that, that, that's, that doesn't even match. It doesn't correlate at all. Don't mix my honey with KFC. Yeah. Anyway, Please. anywho, any anywho, yeah, let's pick up. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. So if you're making fifty thousand dollars, don't date. I'm, ooh, I'm just ooh. being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I want you in. You're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship <laughs> costs. Date none of y'all. Everything costs. <laughs> you can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. A bottle of water is a dollar. Three dollars in Atlanta. That's not the way. So if you don't have dick. any expendable <laughs> cash, See, you know what? And whatever that looks like, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable no, cash. That's not it's true. Bottom of the barrel, bitch, that's going to date you when you have no money if she doesn't have the expectation and i'm gonna tell you this right now enjoy it that while is so it lasts, not true eventually you're gonna want to run because she doesn't stretch you she doesn't make you the man that you need to become she allows you to be the stack you know what sis just talk for yourself because you know you're not talking saying? for all the women <laughs> right no, now talk about hey. sorry sorry she's not <laughs> she's not listen first of all I could, I, could, I, I could make magic with 50,000. Let me tell you something. I made magic with less. Let me tell you something. You I made man? magic with 50,000 and four kids on my own. So I, let me tell you something. 50,000 is a lot. Yeah. It depends all, on your expenses and how you're able to yeah. manage it. Yes. Yes. So I, just because somebody makes 50,000 doesn't necessarily mean that they can't date. I hate these women. I, I hate them. I, the hate most, is a strong word. I hate them. I it's know. always the most it's basic a, ones that be word. saying stuff. It don't never because again, I guarantee you, it's not that many ch people, not that many guys checking for you, sis. You're super basic, super basic. Damn, how you super basic? She's super basic. Like nothing about her says, "Oh my god, I would pick her over anybody else." And they be the they always the ones talking about the money that the man making all. Girl, please. Why is the money such a significant factor, because though? It, because if you're making your own money, why are you so concerned about his? Because yeah. dating today is about what the woman can get. And this is not everybody. I know I'm just making a statement. Yeah, please, because you don't... When the me. women are about what, what he can provide, and the men are about how she looks. Those two are the two that cross... They're, they 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 cross each other. So most men, again, women women think that the men are looking for the IG models, and they are. And then men thinking the women are looking for looking for the the providers who make all this money and is going to spend it on them, which they are. But that's not the majority. Dang, like, that's the minority. Yeah, but that is, is that being is that being uh, financially responsible? Do you want a man that's just going to constantly just spend money, or yes. do you want someone that's going to be you know financially conscious? They don't care about that. Basically, going to allow you or help the two of y'all when y'all get into a relationship marriage whatever the case may be and he's going to spend it in order to help y'all elevate he just not got just money spend. a lot of these modern women they're looking for the wrong thing yes right. they, they should be looking for that 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 generous man they not look they, 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 they want to look for the rich man or they not looking for financial stability they're yeah, looking nah. for the man yeah, who's going to spend it Sp yeah. they want like, the man that's going to actually take care of them so they can spend their own money on whatever they want yeah, that stash money, that mad money. That's selfish. She was basic, like it's always them. What did you say? She was super, super basic. basic. It's always them. You, you know what? I'm, I'm about to go there. I'm sorry. He, she may be looking for a man for a hundred thousand because she may eat fifty thousand dollars worth of food. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's just cause again, cause again, that's, I'm just saying. So again, that's like that's like a man going up there and say, "Listen, if you fat as hell." Don't be trying to have sex. Because oh, ain't nobody oh. trying to pick your big ass up. And oh, we want Lord. the women that smoke. You see what I'm saying? You see, you see how that sounds? Oh, I got to turn it's my like, back what? on. I got to turn my back I'm on. Saying, <laughs> no, I'm not saying I'm saying that. I'm just saying see, that's how it sounds. you everybody today. <laughs> that's how that sounds. The views of CJ Listen, are not. <laughs> okay. If you under if you under five foot five and you over 200 pounds, you are a big ass bowling ball. We don't want to date like. 
Nobody. Like, that's yeah. how that sounds. It's retarded. Because it's, it's to each his own. Because again, there's guys out there who make fifty k who can date, who make it work, and, and make it work. But there's guys out of there who make a million dollars and super broke and be fraud credit card right. debt out the wazoo. Right. <laughs> So it's like they trying to they trying mortgage, to basically mortgage, living, like living, beyond, <laughs> living beyond their means and the next thing you know they broke. Yeah, it's like come they on, they live in a whole facade, up. whole facade. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I have made thirty thousand work. Mm-hmm. Listen, but I mean my bills were paid. I didn't. I may not have that extra money to. You know, hang out or splurge. I, mean, I might not have been taking her to dinner every two yeah, weeks. Nah, but we went that. out. We nah, did nah, stuff. Nah, we had fun. And all that. Don't date. Oh no, I'm dating because Stupid. yeah, because I want to fill up on something. Oh. Yeah, you know I'm see, saying. See, I'm see, trying to fill up on see, something. See, that's that's what you want. You you just want the physical aspect of it. Yeah. <laughs> why not? I'm a physical man. Goodness gracious. You know what Most I mean? I'm more physical. <laughs> that's right. Woman, get your ass open so I can beat you up. Oh damn. <laughs> beat her up or beat that up. Since she clarified, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was like, "Yeah, oh, you know, man. in my youth, I was able to beat it up." Oh gosh! Now, right. um, <laughs> hey, listen, his shorty. two pumps, his two pumps, right? You, gonna, you, you got know, two pumps, right? Fifteen. You gonna, fifteen. You gonna, you gonna get these hard fifteen pumps? <laughs> And then well, I'm gonna take a nap. They call the impactful pumps. Yeah, the impactful pumps. <laughs> <laughs> the thoughts and views of my co-hosts. <laughs> I do not subscribe. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I don't know. That's she not my nap. Lady. No, I'll you, take a nap. no, ain't no nap. You going to sleep? Listen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen here, shorty. If I go sleep on my stomach, that means don't touch me. Mm. <laughs> oh, that means I'm tired. <laughs> oh, listen. Hey, I'm tired. I, I don't care. Look, wake me over. up. I ain't Damn. never tired. Look, you turn over, you're like. <laughs> Shit. If I hear bzzz, I'm getting up. That's what. <laughs> What, the, what are you doing? I'm right there. No. Listen. Okay, I'm too competitive. Listen. I like, yo. That thing is not I, going I, Listen. The, 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 the wall outlet is right over there. You need to charge it up. Hey. That's going to wake me up. Now I'm going to be able to do a push up. <laughs> Wait. What you got that thing what for? You got that? Ah, now I'm ready. Yeah, she over there She over there burning the treads off the rubber. <laughs> Damn. Looking at, my, looking at my electric bill from last month. Oh, it's about to be so high. What the, what the fuck? What you got? The, 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 the new and improved version? <laughs> no. Yeah, that yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me, hey, listen, I need you. I need you to replace these treads on this <laughs> on this vibrator real quick. <laughs> I need the Goodyear joints because I'm burning these joints out. Got that, got he that. said Goodyear. <laughs> I need I need the Goodyear vibrator. She got the NASCAR version. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, now these days they got the rose, so the rose. I hate all that. Uh, Yeah, you know what? I hate it all. All right. He hates it all. How? Because what? Women. Yes. Women. Yes. How do you use the rose? Oh, I don't have one, so I (laughs) I can't incriminate myself. And I ain't saying I use it, so y'all got to chill. I'm curious because it looked like a rose, so how do you use a rose? Uh, To my knowledge, it's like a a suction type thing, and then it it gives you the feeling of uh, oral. Get out. But a little bit more intense. When we get off, get out of here. Because I don't want to be demonetized before we get monetized. Yeah, yeah. I'll explain it to you. Over there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It can be a little intimidating at first, but you just got to suck it up and say, you know what? <laughs> Listen here, my brother. Listen here, my brother. Me and you, with a with camera, me and you, my brother, brother Rose, me and you can work together. <laughs> tag team back again. This got tag team right there. <laughs> <laughs> this your podcast, man. Oh, listen, man. Oh, that hour went fast, boy. Damn. Mm. Yeah, we over an hour. Yeah. Oh, we want to thank you for joining us. Yeah, definitely. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Comment, like, yeah. share this. Yeah. Y'all. Make sure y'all appreciate. subscribe. Make sure y'all keep Come putting back. them comments out there, man. We appreciate the yes, comments. Yes, yes. We love it, man. We growing, man. Yeah, we are definitely. growing. We love it. Definitely. Now, man, we're going to let Peanut take this home. Yes. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Yeah. We out. We love y'all.